Hello everyone, my name is Jason, or as the competitive Smash Brothers and fighting game community know me, Dark Horse. People forget, even though he streams and commentates, he plays the game. At a high level too. At wow. a high level, get it. Oh wait, the Dark Horse special. It's not out of, oh, scoop. Oh, oh my, my god. god! One thing you should know about me is that I love the Nintendo 64. When I was in first grade, we got a Super Nintendo. It was the greatest thing ever. It had many titles that are still among my all-time favorites to this day. Five years later, my parents got us the console that would truly influence my life and my future, the Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 64 was a masterpiece of gaming. I remember being awestruck while simply running around in circles playing Mario 64 that first day. I remember my parents being slightly worried because they had heard that people were getting motion sick and even having seizures due to the bright colors and 3D landscapes. But I could not have been happier. The Nintendo 64 consumed all of my gaming time throughout middle school and into high school that wasn't taken up by Pokemon. But even that classic title got a few spots on the N64. Looking back on these halcyon days of my middle school youth, filled with Surge Soda, pop punk music, and awkward school photos, I vividly remember long nights playing Goldeneye with friends, struggling through Shadow Man with my brother and cousin, playing 20-man team battles in Killer Instinct, going for high scores in Wave Race, giving up on Mortal Kombat Mythologies, damn you, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, and riding that late 90s wave of extreme sports with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I would be doing myself a massive disservice if I didn't mention the one game that has had the biggest impact on my current life, Super Smash Bros. I'll talk about that game plenty at a later date. But while we're on the topic of Smash, as much as I loved the N64, and I really did, it quickly got pushed to the side in 2001 when Nintendo came out with its next console, the GameCube, and along with it, another Super Smash Bros. Years go by and I graduate from high school. When moving into my dorm room in College Park, Maryland during the summer of 2004, I left the GameCube at home for my brothers to play and brought with me Old Faithful, the N64. This was the second time period in my life that the N64 played a memorable role. I played through all sorts of games with people in my dorm and around campus. Not everyone had an Xbox, and everyone remembered the good times they had on the N64. Everyone would walk by my room, see the console, see the controllers, and talk about how great they were at any given game. That is, of course, until they played against me until one day I met someone that could absolutely dominate me in Super Smash Bros. I was excited to get my first real challenge on campus. I watched videos, I practiced, and one day I was consistently beating him and every other person I came across. I even held a few campus-wide tournaments and challenged people from other schools. This was all well and good, but eventually I graduated, moved away from campus, had no one to play anymore, and the N64 once again began to collect dust. Several years later, a very serendipitous series of events led me to becoming part of the competitive Super Smash Bros. community and eventually becoming one of its prominent leaders. This is a very long story and definitely for another time, but jumping forward to April 2018, I had an idea. I have always considered myself to be exceptional at any game I decided to play for the N64. But there were so many games that I had never played. There were so many games that I've never heard of. This thought spawned my idea for the great N64 challenge. I was going to play through and beat every single US release game for this console. On stream, recorded, in chronological order, on original hardware, and on the default difficulties with no major skips or glitches. I don't know why it took me so long to come up with this idea, but I could not be more excited. This console is full of incredible games that I have never played. It's also full of games that I deeply cherish and hold incredible memories of. Just hearing clips of the soundtracks 
from some of these games is enough to stir up old memories, make me smile, or give me goosebumps. Not only am I thrilled to relive much of my childhood, but I can't wait to share it with others. Hopefully, I can show you all how much I love these games, and you will get to see me fall in love with some of your favorite titles as well. Come and join me on this incredible journey as I attempt to complete the Great N64 Challenge.